Well, you guys, that was a very successful thrift trip. And you guys know that I've been home. That was, that's just all smoke and mirrors, my friends. I came home and brushed my hair because of that wind. I had something to eat. I touched up my makeup a little bit. And now I am here to give you the whole portion of this video. I have just enough light to show you all the finds, tell you all the little details. Let's get stuck into the finds. So I found a couple of pieces of outerwear that I am just so thrilled with. A, because they're vintage and B, because they're vintage. The first one is this, you guys. In this beautiful kind of rusty tan color, it's a tweed blazer. It's vintage Katie's, my friends. Do you see that label? Look how old that label is. I'm gonna need my glasses. Alrighty, so it's exclusive to Katie's. Look at that lining. Look at that lining my friends. Okay, where's the fabric composition? Here we go. Oh wow, you guys, it's a hundred percent pure wool. Look at that. You're also getting a nice close-up of this gorgeous tweed and that lining. I mean, I am thrilled and oh my god, I love this. It's just beautiful. It is an absolutely gorgeous jacket. I love how boxy it is. It's oversized but not too oversized. I love it. I think it's just, oh my God, they don't make blazers like this anymore, you guys. Look at that. It's just perfect on the arm. Absolutely perfect. I love it. I love it. I'm going to make it look really cute in the cutaway. Can you see the cutaway right now? Isn't it cute? It's cute. Love this blazer. So I was thrilled with that one. This one, you guys, is vintage also. I mean, it was just a day for vintage. And you know, before I even left home, I thought, you know, I want to start looking for beautiful staples, neutrals, timeless pieces, no more color. I'm kind of over color. I don't know. I will always love color, actually. Every time I start wearing neutrals and basics, then I miss color. And then when I wear color too much, I miss the neutrals and the the basics. Okay, so this one is by Resort Resort. And yes, it does have a nautical vibe and that's why I fell in love with it. The only thing I wasn't too sure about was the shoulder pads. I wish there were no shoulder pads, but I still love it. I absolutely, oh my God, it's gorgeous. Look at the length. The length is amazing. The contrast buttons are amazing and I can't take them out either. They're sewn into the lining. So I'm just gonna have to get comfortable with the shoulder pads. This is just gorgeous. Look at the button cuff detail and you know you've got the the double breast with the four buttons this is just amazing with denim or even those white trousers that I found yes I can't wait to style this up this was by resort resort so there's the label on the jacket and look at that lining look at the work on this jacket you guys it's just amazing. The fabric composition has been, no, it's here, it's here. Where's my glasses? 100% polyester microfiber, dry clean only. And there's a spare button inside the lining. And I love, I love when brands do that. I am so happy with it. And oh my God, it's, it's just, I love it. Okay, next piece. Let's talk about the pants first. I have thrifted. So, so many pairs of white pants, but never in my size. They're always humongous and I convince myself into thinking, it's fine, they're baggy, I'll make them work, but they just don't work. You can't have too much volume in the bum and in the thigh. It's not flattering. So when I tried these on, I felt like they were a little bit too tight. If these were a 10, they would have been perfection, but they are unfortunately a size eight. Look, I can just get away with it, but I gotta be careful about what kind of underwear I wear because I don't want any, you know, VPL. They're vintage, they're a beautiful trouser pant with slight pleating at the front, discreet pockets, a button and zip closure and they're a tapered straight leg. This Lisa brand is the brand of all my Bermuda shorts. It's an amazing brand for pants. Tops I'm not into so much but all the trouser pants are just a beautiful make. But if they were a 10 I would be thrilled with them. But my saving grace is the elastic on the side. They are amazing trouser pants and now 
I finally have a pair of white trouser pants in my wardrobe. Now, I've always wanted a pair of pants, trouser pants, in this sandy color as well, no luck. But these are vintage Millers and they are a size 10. These are not as vintage as the black label, but they are still vintage. Polyester viscose blend, made in China. So maybe not vintage, but still they have that vintage vibe, elastic waist, discreet pockets, and the leg is straight and also tapers in on the bottom as well. This has belt loops, so I can wear it with a belt, but the belt loop is very small, so only a thin belt would work. I would wear these pants with no belt anyway. I'm happy with those. And then there was this gorgeous vintage shirt in this very pale pink, but it has a kind of jacquard embossment. This shirt is by Adam Bennett, and my mum used to have a lot of pieces by this label. I'm pretty sure he's an Australian designer. The buttons are quite different on this. Look at the button on that. It's a cream little square. It feels like a stone. Can you see that there? That is a vintage label, you guys. So you have the designer name and then the size underneath and then usually the fabric composition is there. But as you can see, it's faded out. So I really loved this. I love the necktie that comes with the blouse, just the beautiful wide sleeve, and then it tapers in at the wrist. It's just beautiful. It's just absolutely beautiful. I am not sure how I'm going to style this. Maybe with denim, blue and pink are gorgeous together. Pink and gray are gorgeous together. Pink and red are gorgeous together. And finally, the last piece, you guys. This Zara dress was 10 bucks. And I absolutely love this color. This color is just gorgeous. And I love the top half of this dress. So you've got kind of like a cap sleeve on one side and then a short flutter sleeve on the other side. And it's a column dress in this crinkle fabric that did absolutely no favor on me so what I'm going to do is chop it and wear this as a top I think it's gonna look really beautiful with maybe even these trousers I think that's a beautiful combination or blue denim or I don't think the white the white's too fresh I will see but I just hope I don't ruin this piece by by chopping it but I honestly would not wear this as a dress I just didn't like it with or without the belt I just didn't like it but I just love the color the neckline the sleeve it's just I don't know I really liked it so as I mentioned this is by Zara it's a size small 99% polyester 1% elastic. This color, like I said, it's a cross between a chocolate and a burgundy. Absolutely gorgeous. So my friends, that is what I managed to thrift today from the salvos at the entrance. I'm quite happy with the six pieces. I think they're all going to be for me. None are going on my shop because I'm absolutely in love with all of them. Gorgeous vintage, just beautiful neutrals, timeless pieces. I'm so happy with all of them. This was a good trip. This was a really good trip. So I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me and I really hope I see you in my next one.